to more. How you doing, folks? This Labor Day weekend, we went had a our weekend plan. Uh, we went all out, went out of town, two hours away to the Mississippi River, stayed overnight. Uh, so we fished two days straight. <clears throat> caught hardly any fish at all it was just miserable hot mid 90s humid as can be uh to the point where it was just so unbearable there was no shade where we're at drink 10 gatorades and only go to the bathroom one time you know you're too hot uh but i, I just wanted to share my experience with you to let you know uh the mistake i made to where i could have caught more fish but it was too late at the time that I really realized what the main problem was. And that has to do with weights, proper weights. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> when you're on the bank fishing the Mississippi River, you can get by with probably a two or three ounce weight, or even at the most a five ounce weight. Uh, but when you're on the end of a wing dam, you're going to have to have at least an eight to ten ounce weight because the reason I didn't catch fish that first day, which was Saturday, because the biggest weights I had were three ounce and I didn't have a whole lot of them. I had about 15 or 20 when I arrived so I didn't want to tie more than one on and lose all my weights in the first couple hours I wanted to make them last all day but the problem was those weight my baits would not stay still because that water was sucking around the end of that rock dike and it would stay put for a few seconds but it would just slowly start moving over and bouncing down and uh, caught six blue cats that day, but they were all four inches and under. Yes, four inches and under. <coughs> so, and the thing is, you know, it's one river you've got to have the right equipment. I had two good catfish poles that can handle an eight ounce, casting an eight ounce weight. But my other ones, if even if I would have had that heavy of a weight, it would have probably snapped my rod when I cast, go to cast them. Uh, so I got to really up my gear to be able to, to do this properly again. I really want to fish those ends of those wing dikes and uh, catch some big blue cat and flathead. I'm going to have to get about two more good cat poles. And I'm going to have to go out and spend about $100 on the proper weight. Some of them things are $2 a piece for them big 5 ounce, 8 ounce, 10 ounce weights. Um, at the point where we, when I discovered what the issue was, we were over an hour away from any type of place that would even remotely have that kind of weight and that would be academy in cape Girardeau. uh walmart the biggest ones they have are three ounces you would have to literally tie three of them on they're a dollar a piece they're two dollars and seventy cents for three of them so it would have cost me three dollars to just to weight every pole but that is what it takes uh i did not really get hung up a lot there uh maybe two times so maybe you know the cost is worth it all right like i said this videos it just it, the, the whole weekend was terrible it was too hot and humid we spent a lot of money devoted a lot of time and effort only to really do nothing at all but uh i decided i'd go ahead and make the video anyway hope you guys enjoy it it is labor day weekend we are spending two days on the Mississippi River on a wing dam, a rock dike. This is the very last rock dike before the Ohio River meets the Mississippi besides the one right in front of me. We're only a half a mile or one mile at the most from Fort Defiance, which is where the Ohio River meets the Mississippi River, at the beginning of the lower Mississippi. Right now I'm on the unpooled upper Mississippi River near Cairo, Illinois, but on the Missouri side, right here on US 6062 that goes to Paducah, Kentucky. That's people leaving out of Missouri and crossing into Illinois, which they're only in Illinois for about a half a mile, and then they're in Kentucky. They're, they're crossing the very bottom corner of Illinois, the very remaining. That bridge over there right in front of me is a bridge that crosses the Ohio River, which the Ohio River is right in front of me. I can see where they meet together. So we are here. It's Saturday. We're gonna be here today and tomorrow. 
fishing for blue cats, flathead, whatever bites basically. Uh, I'd like to get a big common carp. Uh, we was going to fish underneath the bridge over here actually because it's shaded and we was going to come down here later in the evening time but people pulled in right as we did at the same moment and happened to get down there before we could because we had more stuff to get ready and uh, I had a couple poles that weren't even rigged up and I wanted to rig them up so I could be in the shade right now but I'm just going to suffer that's alright I brought me a eight pack of power aids and they are on cold ice so just it's going to be a rough two days because it is in the 90s and it is very humid and the bite might not be that great but you know what labor day is a weekend that is known for everywhere that you normally go that is barely crowded if it has any crowd at all will all of a sudden be very crowded so during labor day my personal thought was go where nobody goes but as you can see that kind of fails because there's already people here but generally the mississippi river you can't avoid people and there's always extra room for other people i should say uh, i could bank this right here and i still wouldn't be in the shade so i figured i might as well go on the end of this wing dam fish this scour hole where it's actually 30 to 60 foot deep where them giant flatheads and blues set. So I ended up having to take two trips because I got so much gear. I'm going back to get my second round right now, which is my six rod and reels and the cooler with drinks in it. It's fairly heavy. We would have been better off in the sand where they're at. No, that's not Ingram, it's Marquette. It's not the company. Look at that, completely sideways. God. You gotta, you gotta have a huge wave. No, the current. Look, the current's going, look at the bubbles. It's because of the rock dike, all the current's sucking out that way. It goes in a big circle here. Now that's a bite. It was right before them waves came. That one wasn't caused from the waves, but it, now it, it probably won't bite now because the waves are coming. Look at that one! Completely freaking sideways. I screwed up. I should have brought. I should have went across the bridge at Donovan and bought them humongous weights. These ain't big enough weights for here. I can't even tell if I got it, it's so small. If it is, it's something real little. Yeah, there's something on there. It's a tiny one though. Probably a little drummer. It's a baby blue cat. Little one pound blue cat. Hey, it's a start. Oh, little blue. When you got a five ounce weight, it's hard to, for them to even ring the bell. <coughs> Calm down, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Got him off with no pliers. He's a little half pounder, three four pounder, a little blue cat. Hey, it's a start to our day.
another fish. It's so small I didn't know he was even on there. That's twice that's happened. <laughs> Little tiny baby blues. Oh my gosh. That's two of my thought that you can literally put in an aquarium. Where is the big guy? I didn't even know they were on there. They were so cool. Hey! <laughs> what the hell, man? That's four times! That's the four time I caught a blue cat and didn't even know they were on there. They're so small. These are this year's hats. They're so small. Four months old. Or three. Goodness gracious. Little tiny things. the big ones come out more at night obviously they are not lighting their head my god do you see that carp thing was huge The kids are sad with a crow net, trying to get bait for the day. We're getting ready to head to the Mississippi River, which is literally half a mile below us, quarter mile below us, so we're going to go a couple miles downstream. Town of New Madrid, Missouri. It's, it's where after the Mississippi meets the Ohio River, where it's a lot bigger, considered the lower river. And it's like the blues and flatheads. 
channels and whatever car whatever by anything except drum and car trying to avoid those we just caught six sad one twelve so I decided to you know, never feel myself doing this. Huh. you call tag team cast netting because I suck at throwing them so I hold it and he throws it that way he did, we're, we're able to do it quicker over and over without him having to redo it all that's just strange I guess we gotta work our way down a little bit. I say we get four more we can get five in a row not one at a time, we'll be here all day. I had too much. I think you'd get drum and carp and stuff. I no, I have. Before, and this is the name of the river. I caught some weird stuff out of it now that I think about it. Big large mouth, blue gills. Oh yeah. We hit payday again. Three. Well, three's better than none. Well, we got three gizzards sad. We got about 20 total maybe by now. 15. Yeah. Little bit, yeah. Or a shiner. It's some kind of shiner. Wow. That'll work. That'll stay alive longer. That'll work. We're getting them. We'll do this about 10 or 15 minutes, and we'll go. We'll go to the next place, which is about five mile, five mile drive. We're gonna do good there. Even if the cats ain't flying off. Hey, bro. Yeah. Fair day yesterday. Oh yeah. Three again. So we're up to 18. I'm just guessing we had about 15. We got at least 18. Is it? We got a what? A striper. Come up. Little baby striper man. Or a white man. Yeah. Little white man. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, I wish I had enough for him. That could be a hybrid, I guess. Never know. We're doing good. Right when you think you scare them away, they come right back. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. Let's see. I'm gonna see if there's a difference. If I wait or if I hurry up and pull it. Well, the difference is I can get it hung. Oh yeah, we're getting them every throw. Three again, and another white bass. Or is that a drum? Oh, it's a drum. Drum. Got a drum this time. That'll, we'll keep that one. Can't get in trouble for 
There's been many times I could have gotten big shit because digging through a bucket full of fat, I had probably 200 of them in there and there was crappie in it, mixed in. <laughs> completely swallowed it. I can't even see it. <laughs> so bad, I gotta have the plier. I caught a big drum too and I thought it was a white bass. It's hot and miserable and all the worms are almost melted. They're not even alive. They're just real flimsy. That's going to be a problem. I don't see them hitting the worms much because of the shape. I wasted, basically wasted $15 on the five styrofoam tank full of worms we never use. God. He's really got it in there. That's two I caught off the twister tail in a couple of minutes time. Yeah, he gave me one. And I, it's tore up because I got hung up so many times in the tree and on that same rock. You can't even let it fall for two seconds. Basically just one. Jig had fine and rubber ruined at this point. Huh? Yeah, I know it. Yeah. Alright folks, we're gonna get him back. It's a little 
12 inch spot is bad when he's swallowed and he's bleeding a little bit. He's all, he'll be alright though. 